Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain ACO Flexible Content Field Data Import and Export. Flexible Content Field is one of the most essential fields in ACF. It is a simple structured log based editor designed with layouts and subfields. With ACF Flexible Content, you can create and manage content and it provides control over page structure. Let's see the ACF field set up in my WordPress dashboard. I have created a field group ACF Flexible Content which has a flexible content field. And I have created a single layer flex label. It has subfields like text, text area, number, range, email, etc. I have mentioned all the supported fields. Now we'll see the CSV preparation. Specify the post title in the post title field. Give post content here. Provide post status either publish or draft. Mention the post author in the post author field. In the text field, provide any text values. Here you can see I have used a pipeline separator to separate text values because I'm going to import data in two blocks. So if you want to import values for multiple blocks of a single layout, then use this pipeline separator to separate the block values. In the text area field, give text in multiple lines and I separated multiple text area fields block values in a pipeline. In the number field, provide any number. In the checkbox field, mention multiple checkbox values to be selected in the comma separator. And use the pipeline separator to separate checkbox fields values of other blocks. In the radio field, mention the value of the radio button to be selected. Mention the value of the select field to include in multiple blocks with the pipeline. When you create a CSV for flexible content import, you also need to add an extra field called flexible field. In this field, you need to specify the layout's name in a comma separator where you need to import values. I have included a single layout name flex label double times because I'm going to import values in two separate blocks of the layout flex label. Mention the range values in the range field. Specify the email address here in the email field. In the URL field, mention any external URL or page or any post URL here. Give any password with special characters in this password field. Give any text values in this specific editor field. Provide any YouTube URL in this OEMBAT field. Next, give your WordPress media image URL or any external URL as a value for the image field. Specify any file path of your WordPress media library in this file field. In the gallery field, mention multiple media image URLs or any external image URLs with the comma separator. Separate multiple block values with pipelines. Specify the value for the button here in this button field. For the true or false field, mention value 1 to select true, otherwise specify 0 to select false. Include page, post or external URL in this link field. In the post object field, Mention the title of your post.
specify page URLs in this page link field. Mention multiple post titles to relate to this post inside this relationship field. In the taxonomy field, specify category names. Specify user ID in the user field. Mention the date in this format in the date picker field. For the daytime field, specify daytime values in the supported format. Provide time values in this format inside the time picker field. Give color hex codes inside the color picker field. So this is how you specify values for the ACF field types inside CSV. Now we import the CSV into WordPress. For that visit the CSV imported plugin page in the WordPress dashboard. Upload the CSV file. Map all the record fields. Here make sure to map the ACF flexible fields. Once you have mapped, move to the next section. Let the media handling be enabled by default if you are importing any external URL images. Click this import button to instantly import CSV values into your website. Wait for the import to complete. The import is completed. Click this view log button and select admin view to verify the data import in the backend. So all the fields in CSV are imported successfully. Now let's see how we can export ACF flexible content field data Move to the export tab of the CSV importer plugin. Here select the modules to export its values. I have assigned the ACF flexible content field group to post so I select post. Click on continue. Provide a name for the file to export.
and choose your desired export file type. You can use any filters from here if you record them. Now just click this export button to export the chosen WordPress module data. Okay, the post values are exported. Click the download button to download the exported data. Now let's open and see the exported file data. So here are all the exported fields and values. Hope you enjoyed learning ACF flexible content field data import and export with the CSP Importer Pro plugin. Thanks for watching the video.